Well, it, it wasn't the UN's idea for a start. I mean, it was the outcome of a summit. It was heads of state and heads of government uh, who invited the Secretary General of the UN to convene such a forum for multi-stakeholder public policy dialogue. I think what is remarkable in this context is that it was actually governments uh, that did not ask for a meeting among governments, but they asked for a meeting where they would meet as equals with other stakeholders, private sector, uh, business, uh, civil society, and the uh, internet community. And this is basically then what the Secretary General had to do. He was given an order by heads of state and government that it's difficult to say no. So this is the UN involvement. And in order to do this, he set up a small secretariat uh, to prepare the meeting. Well, I would call it rather a facilitator to make it possible that this me meeting takes place. It's to fulfill a mandate that was given to the UN by the summit. We spent considerable time <laughs> on discussing this and the uh, summit finally adopted a definition uh, which was prepared between the two phases of the summit and uh, I suppose I should know it by heart but it's a fairly complex academic uh, definition which in essence uh, means government, governance is not, does not equal governments. It involves all stakeholders, it's the process of governing and in the case of the internet, uh, it goes beyond the numbering and addressing. As you may recall, the uh, core resources of the internet, the numbers and addresses, are administered by a US-based not-for-profit uh, organization, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, and that was very much at the political center of the debate at the summit. But the summit also concluded that this is not uh, the end of internet governance. Internet governance is much broader and it does not only refer to the infrastructure of the internet but also to the use of this infrastructure and to the abuse of this infrastructure. And the issues we have now on the agenda are very much the issues that were highlighted uh, by the summit as issues of priority concern to the international community. Well, it's, I think conflicts and tensions will always persist, but I think what the forum can do is to bring people together to talk to each other. And I think one of the panelists at the very first interactive session pointed out that there were people in the, in the room who four years ago would not have talked to each other, not because they uh, thought the others were the devil or so, but they had never had anything to do with them. They're different walks of life. And, the summit process has brought people together. Another delegate mentioned, hey, it's amazing when you go to breakfast, you sit with business, civil society, government, you mingle with these people who before you hardly knew. I mean, you, yes, civil society always knew there were governments, but you did not really relate directly to them. And just this fact actually can help to create a better understanding and also ease potential conflicts. But it is a learning process. and. Uh, uh, all the actors have to learn something. Governments have to learn how to deal with civil society. They function differently. Civil society also has to learn to function differently from being pure advocacy groups, but that coming in into a process um, where you try to find solutions and there you cannot just uh, keep doing your lobbying work, but you have to engage in dialogue and uh, be also ready to compromise. So. Uh, we're at the beginning, but I think uh, all in all, uh, we're off to a good start, so there's hope for optimism. Well, the forum as such has not been created as a platform for action. It has been created as a platform for dialogue, but uh, action may emerge from this dialogue, but it will not be uh, a top-down organized action sorry about this uh, it will be an action uh, that will emerge out of these contacts and we said from the beginning uh, there may be uh, 
what we termed a dynamic coalition emerging from the forum. And this seemed to be taking place. We heard about initiatives that have taken off uh, here in Athens and that will continue beyond Athens. And uh, then you learn more at the next meeting in Brazil what will happen out of these initiatives. Well, I would say the biggest hope uh, is that it stays as it is, as a creative medium that allows for innovation. Innovation, we don't know yet what it may be. We did not know five years ago that we would have video streaming, we would have voice over IP and so on. So there may be much more in store for us. And the biggest fear, I would say, uh, that maybe commercial interests take over too much, that they do not uh, then the create, creation of a two-track or two-tier system could be one of the pitfalls that would uh, create a, a two-tier internet uh, community, which uh, I for one would consider as not desirable uh, development. Bright. <laughs> Great, thank you so much. Pleasure.